Hi guys and welcome. Uh, this is Greg without Jackson. I'm gonna draw another one today. This one's gonna be a, um, I was trying to decide whether I should do a hummingbird or an octopus. Get out your uh, trusty Crayola if you have one or um, any kind of black marker will work, but make sure that you have padding under your paper or you have thick paper because I've already started to mark this table up a little bit with, um, with this Crayola, which is a water soluble pen so it'll wash out of the table, but you don't want any kind of permanent markers on your table without any padding underneath. This is a super thick cardstock paper that I use, so it's not gonna go through this. Okay, so octopus, here we go. First thing I'm gonna do is draw the head of the octopus. And I'm basically gonna do that shape, right? Just like that. And then I'm gonna do his tentacles. So I think I'm gonna have the first tentacle come out like this, like a big sad face. The next tentacle on the other side, go like this. And do you guys know how many tentacles an octopus has? How many arms an octopus has? Oh, Jackson's off to the side here giving me hints. He says eight, kind of like a spider has eight, is that right? So it means four on each side. So how are we gonna do that? So let's draw the first one. There's one, we'll draw the second one. Now notice how I'm doing this. I'm kind of making it tapered at the ends, just a little bit. Um, just for simplicity, I'm gonna just ha let this guy have maybe six legs. Because you know why? Because I have artist license. And my artist license says I can pretty much draw whatever I want, whenever I want. So I'm kind of just drawing and hoping you guys can follow along. But, um, I'll try to go slow and remember that you guys are learning and I've already figured all this stuff out. Well, I haven't figured it all out. I'm a student of art as well, but I've kind of got a lot of drawing time under my belt. So it's easier for me to figure things out on the fly. So if you notice what I'm doing on these last two legs, they're going behind these legs. I'm not running the line through it, but putting it behind it. And we have six tentacles now. If I just put two more, we'd have what Jackson says is the right amount. So maybe I'll just do that. So I'm gonna put this one out to here. And then one more. We're supposed to go out for a little cruise right now. So I gotta hurry up and draw this fast. But, uh, man, I drew that really fast. I hope you guys can um, pause it and catch up because I'm, I'm kind of in a hurry right now and I didn't mean to um, rush it, but I'm gonna rush it. Next thing I'm gonna do is give him a big single eye. He's gonna have a eyelid like this. If Jackson was with me right now, I'd go a little slower so he could follow along. That's a good thing about having Jackson here. I go a little slower. I'm gonna put a eyeball in there just like that. And then what else does a tentacle, what else does an octopus have on his tentacles? He has those little tiny grippy things. They're like suction cups. So there's a lot of those. So I'm gonna speed this up so we can, and you, you don't have to draw them just like I'm drawing. You can draw them any way you want. You can have them do this. Watch this, go along the bottom side of the legs. So some of them are showing on the top side and some of them are showing on the bottom side. But here's another trick, as I get closer to the end of his tentacles, I make them smaller. Because in real life, I think that's actually what they do. But we were watching this great show called 
The Octopus, My Teacher. Thanks, Jackson. And if you guys haven't seen that, it's really a good movie about, or it's really a documentary about this man who swims with an octopus for a whole year and gets to understand everything about this little octopus. But what I noticed, and I think they said, is that they have thousands of these little suction cups on them. And you'll see if you watch the show. Um, okay, so I'm going to stop.